Hello, my name is Kelvin Yap, and I'd like to introduce to you Timon Tunja. Uh, this will not teach you Timon uh, Tunja in depth, but just to give you a overview of what is Timon Tunja, how it's being used, uh, what are the things, elements in the Timon Tunja. So don't expect that you can, after you read this, you definitely know how to use Timon Tunja because people spend 30, 30, 40 years to, just to learn this system. So just, just take this as uh, knowledge and for you to understand what is it. Uh, if you like to go further, you can always sign up for my course. I have uh, classroom classes, classroom courses as well as the online courses uh, as well. Check out my website at www.fengshui-hacks.com. So what is Simon Tunja? Chimun Tun Jia is an ancient art form of Chinese metaphysics, which is still being used. Uh, qi Men, uh, Chimun Tun Jia consists of two words, uh, four words, uh, Qi Men Tun Jia. So in an ancient time, the uh, Qi Men means uh, translate into mystical door. Uh, so people see, hear the words uh, Qi Men or mystical door, they, they, the thought is some sense of mystical or magic to it. It's just, but actually, it's really not really. Uh, so Chimun Tun Jia can be applied to business, crime solving, marriage, matchmaking, medical divination, feng shui, military affair, finding missing people, travel, personal fortune divination, etc. Et et There's also a movie about Chimun Tun Jia, which is nothing to do with Chinese metaphysics. It's just uh, some uh, martial art form of Chimun Tun Jia. So uh, very interesting. Of course, there are mo other movies that uh, has relationship to Chimun Tunja. For example, Battle of Red Cliff, all those things. Uh, people like Zhuge Liang, which is a practitioner of Chimun Tunja. So you can go and watch the movie to have better understanding how Chimun Tunja works. So according to Ho Ping Yuk in his book, Chinese Meta Mathematical Astrological, uh, Chimun Tunja is, is being translated as tra strange kids escaping techniques. So according to him, Qi Men Tun Jia is actually a combination of two forms of arts, Qi Men and Tun Jia. So originally they have Qi Men and then Tun Jia, and then uh, now they combine the two to become Qi Men Tun Jia. So in the Chinese history, it was recorded that together with Da Liu Ren and Tai Yi Shen Su, they are known as the three highest art or three style or san si in Chinese metaphysics. So in ancient time, these three arts can only be practiced by emperor and, and advisor. So anybody that uh, practice this will be executed or head being chopped off. So according to the legend, uh, Qi Mun Tunjia was said to be taught to Yellow Emperor by a fairy called Jiu Tian Xuan Ni. So during that time, uh, the Yellow Emperor was fighting against a rebel called Zi Yo. So Zi Yo was very familiar with the art of Yin Yang and can uh, fight, uh, can summon the wind and, and rain. Uh. So during the battle, the, um, the Yellow Emperor was losing, so Chiu Tian Xuan he actually passed the art of Chimun Tun Jia to the Yellow Emperor, and using that art, he invented the South Pointing Chariot, and from there he used Chimun Tun Jia and the chariot to win the war against Zi Yong. Here are some of the famous uh, Chimun Tun Jia practitioners. One of them is Zhu Ge Liang. Zhu uh, Ge Liang was a chancellor of Su Han during the Three Canon period of the China. Uh, He's always, he's always he's often been recognized as the greatest and the most accomplished strategist of his era. So he's said to be using Qi Men Tun Jia technique to win the battle. So you see all the uh, some of the pictures. Uh, he's always holding a goose fan, uh, the famous goose fan to for, uh, he use it to fan to, for his to to plan out his strategy. So some of the famous uh, battle that he used Qi Men Tun Jia are the using straw boat to borrow arrow, and of course battle of the red cliff where he win against uh, Chao Chao troop. Another famous practitioner, Jiang Ziya, also known as Jiang Tai Gong. Uh, Jiang Ziya was a ch historical figure who reside uh, at this Wei Sui River about 3,000 years ago. He was expert in military affairs, but he used using Qi Men Chun Jia that hoped someday he, someone would call upon him to overthrow the king. So he waited uh, at the river, uh, fishing every day. Uh, when he was 80 years old, this King Wen of Zhou State found him fishing there. 
and discovered that he actually uh, uh, talked to him he's actually, and found that he's actually very good in strategy and po political, so he made him the uh, advisor. Uh, when he, during that time, he's already 80 years old, and he's always uh, fishing without a hook. Uh, uh, that's what saying that Yuan, Yuan Zi Sang, Sang Gou, uh, who, the, his, who the, basically he's saying that the fish uh, who will, uh, who have the will to being hooked, then he will, he, will, he will be able to fish the fish. Another famous practitioner called Zhang Liang. Uh, he was a strategist and statesman of the early Han Dynasty, so he helped um, founded the Han Dynasty. Uh, he helped Liu Bang found the Han Dynasty, so Zhang Liang is the strategist for that. Another person called Liu Ji or Liu Bo Wen. He is also a key military consultant for Zhu Yuanzhang. Zhu Yuanzhang is a founder of Ming Dynasty, so uh, Liu Bo Wen using Qi Wen Tunjia to help found the uh, Ming Dynasty as well. Uh, last but not least there is Mao Zedong. Of course, there is there's no uh, publicly mentioned that he actually practiced Feng Shui. Uh, in fact, when during the Cultural Revolution, he actually shut down all the people that uh, use Feng Shui. He, he, mostly, he ground up all the uh, Feng Shui practitioners and get, get them executed as well. Uh, the reason being is he was so scared that uh, people might use that to overthrow him uh, because they look at the the famous practitioner previously, all the people all use Qi Men Tun Jia to found the dynasty, like people like Zhang Liang, Liu Bo Wen, uh, Jiang Tai Gong, Jiang Ziya, and, and, and Zhu Ge Liang as well. So why I say that he might be using uh, Qi Men Tun Jia is because uh, during the war uh, with uh, Kuomintang, in some of the battle, he actually detected the actual timing and direction for the troop to be deployed. Uh, this is uh, basically the signature of Qi Men Tun Jia, because Qi Men Tun Jia, you may ever see the uh, you use state selection to choose a good timing and you based on the timing and the direction as well uh, you deploy the troop based on that so this is the hallmark of Qi Men Tun Jia well, Qi Men Tun Jia offer you a, a map of a uh, hourly map uh, for you to draw on so you, you basically based on the uh, post heaven Bagua, the Sien Tian Bagua, no, the Ho Tian Bagua. so it's based on the post heaven uh, Trigam, the Ho Tian Bagua. So the Qimen Tunjia map or the Qimen Tunjia chart they give you information in regards to Tian Shi, Di Di, Ren He. So if the chart show that they support the Tian Shi, Di Di, Ren He means the chart is auspicious for the particular person. So what are the elements in the Qimen Tunjia? So in the Qimen Tunjia chart consists of the following element. They got something called the Nine Palace and Eight Trigam, the Jiu Gong Ba Gua Tu, the Di Pan or Earth Plate, Ten heavenly stems, the ten pan ten heavenly stem and deep pan ten heavenly stem, uh ba shen or eight god. There is the ten pan he heaven plate. Ten pan means heaven plate, and the ren pan means a human plate. There's the uh, ma or traveling horse and kong. So what is the nine palaces and eight trigram chart? The jiu gong ba gua tu. The eight palace and eight trigram is basically the post heaven uh, trigram arrangement. The xian tian ba gua arrangement. So each trigram is called a palace. So each box of it is called a palace. It has associate element and direction to it. That's why in Qimen you can know the direction as well. So it's used to determine the state of the interaction between other elements of the Qimen. And you also used to determine the direction or timing of, of uh, certain things happening. So you look at the right hand side. That is the, the so called the night palace state trigram. You also have the representation of Bakwa where the um, family members is also being re represented. For example, eldest daughter is at uh, southeast at Sun Gua. Right, middle daughter is Li Gua at south. Uh, father is at Qian Gua, uh, right, uh, which is at northwest. The Di Pan or the Earth Plate, the Di Pan or Earth Plate consists of the uh, Ba Gua trigram and you map in the 12 early branches on it. That's why they call the earth aspect of the heaven, earth of man, the TV part of it. So the placement of Chiu Kung Ba Gua, you, you, the, where the 12 early branches uh, being uh, located are shown in the diagram. So Zi is at Kan Wan, Chou and Ying is at Gen, Eight, Mao is at Zhen Tri, Chen and Si is at Sun, Four, Wu is at Li Nai, Wei and Sun at Kuntu, 
Yo is at 37, Xi and Hai is at Qian 6. The 10 heavily stamp or 10 gun. So the 10 heavily stamp are Jia Yi, Bing Ding, Wu Ji, Gen, Xing, Ren, Kui. So in Ji Men, Jia is a head of the 10 heavily stamps. So Jia is wood element. Of course, it's scared of the gun. So Jia, the general, must be protected. So the, therefore, in Qi Men Tun Jia, the Tun Jia means hidden, hide the Jia. That means uh, the Jia had to be hidden to, to uh, protect it. So they not not being uh, uh, attacked. So Jia can be hidden in any of these element. Could be hidden in Wu, Ji, Geng, Xing, Ren, or Kui. So for for Jia Zi, Jia is hidden in Wu. For Jia Xi, Jia is hidden in Ji. Jia Shen, Jia is hidden in Geng. Jia Wu, Jia is hidden in Xing. Jia Chen, Jia is hidden in Ren. Jia Ying, Jia is hidden in Kui. Right. So there's uh just. This 10 heavily stamps are distributed in Di Pan and Tian Pan as well. Uh, so in the Qi Men chart, you won't see Jia inside. You only see all the, the other 9 elements inside. And, and this 9 element consists of the Tian Pan and Di Pan. So there are Tian Pan, Tian Pan heavily stamp. There is also Di Pan heavily stamp. So the Tian Pan heavily stamp is used to look at the current and future. While the Di Pan heavily stamp is used to look at the past. The Ba Shen or the Shen Pan or Shen, Shen Blade or the, the God Blade or the Ba, so consists of the Ba Shen, okay? So the, the ancient people say the Ba Shen is a help from heaven. So Ba Shen consists of Zi Fu, Teng Se, Tai Ying, Liu He, Bai Hu, Xuan Wu, Jiu Di, and Jiu Tian. So you see the bottom chart below, those in red are auspicious and black is inauspicious. So red auspicious God. Black in auspicious God. So you see the placement is based on the Chai Pu technique. So it's another method called Zirun, uh, which uses different names for different Qimen season. Bai uh, Fu uh, could be uh, called something else. Bai Fu Xuan would call something else in, in the Zirun. Uh, for Chai Pu method, it's always the same. So what are the attributes of the Ba Shen? So Ba Shen for Zi Fu is an uh, earth element, uh, known as the leader, most auspicious. Uh, Good location, you can dissipate hundreds of calamities. So you, you also represent power, authority, leader, boss, higher management, stable and expensive. Teng Se is a fire element. It's also got exhaustion. It's a, not a good. It's a blue. It's a black color. So it's not not good. It's a very yin and strange nature. It represents wax, force, cunning, agile, skeptical, and nervous. Tai Ying is a matter element, also known as God of Darkness. It represents dark, gloomy, shadow, sinister, incognito, introvert, gentle, and quiet. Liu He is wood element, known as the God of Protection. It represents marriage, middle, middleman, communication, and business dealing. Bai Hu is an earth element and known as the ferocious God. It represents ferocious sickness, death, injury, traffic accident, and gossip. Xuan Wu is a water element. And known as the slender god, he has represent bandit, fugitive, backstabbing, and wicked. Jiu Ti is an earth element, and known as the jail god. He has represent product from earth, concealed, and conspiracy. Jiu Tian is a metal element, uh, known as the powerful god. He represents high heaven, high goal, high objective, impatient, and impulse. Tian Pan or heaven plate. The Tian Pan consists of the Jiu Xing or the night star. So they are Tian Xing, Tian Peng, Tian Ren, Tian Chong, Tian Fu, Tian Ying, Tian Qing, Tian Rei, and Tian Zhu. So this is the heaven aspect of the Tian Shi Di Di Ren, or heaven, earth, and man interaction. So because you notice that the middle palace is not used, so Tian Qing normally will move to Kuntu palace. So Tian Qing and Tian Rei are always together. And those in red are auspicious, those in blue are moderate, and black is inauspicious. So the placement, or the original placement of Jiu Xing is as follow. Uh, of course, uh, they will move around uh, different, uh, different, different timing of the chart. The attribute of the Jiu Xing or Nine Star, the Tian Xing, is a metal element, also known as the Wu Qi Star. It's timely at uh, North West or Qian Six Palace, and it's a Ying Star. So it represents doctor, round object, and a scheming person. Tian Peng is a water element, also known as the Tang Lang Star. Tian Peng is timely at North. Kanwan Palace is a young star. It represents huge wealth loss, big robber, murderer, corrupter, lechery, fat, 
at the same time also represent wisdom, intelligence, martial, uh, have uh, leadership qualities. Chen Ren, uh, Earth Element, also known as Zhou Fu Sa, Timely at Northeast, Gun 8 Palace, and, uh, and uh, Yang Sa, it represents auspicious, kind, honest, frank, and well behaved. Tian Chong is a wood element, also known as Lu Chun Sa, Timely at East Chen Palace, uh, is a Yang Sa, it represents worry, impulse, do things speedily, and clash out. Tian Fu is a wood element, also the Wen Qi Sa, Timely at uh, Southeast Sun Fo Palace and a young star. It represents wisdom, civilization, education, teacher, examination officer, uh, people with culture and, pre and, and pretty. Uh, gentleman uh, basically means. Uh, Tian, Tian Ying, uh, fire element, uh, known as uh, Yu Pi Sa, uh, timely at the uh, Li Nai Palace and the Ying Sa. It's strong characters, bright, promising, and bird related issue. Uh, Tian Qing, is also known as the Lian Zhen Sa, is timely and middle eight and middle five palace, therefore being checked into Kun Tu Palace as such. It always go together with Tian Ring. It's also a Yang Sa. It represents honest, frank, head of hundred officer, lawyer, and has the wisdom to handle big matters. Chen Rui Sa is an earth element, also known as Ji Men Sa, timely at Southwest Kun Tu Palace and it's a Yin Sa. It represents Yunus issue student, religious, and metaphysics. Tian Zhu star is a metal element, also known as Po Chun star, timely at the uh, West 27 Palace and the Ying star. It, it represents adverse calamity, ruin, dispute, gossip, scandal, petty people, and lawsuit. The Ren Pan or human plate, the Ren Pan consists of Ba Men or Eight Door. So what are the Eight Door? They are the Kai Men, Xiu Men, Sun Men, Sang Men, Du Men, Jing Men, Si Men, Jing Men. So these are the men or the Ren He aspect in the human earth and man interaction. Those in red, uh, you see the chart below, those are in red, uh, auspicious. Blue is moderate, uh, black is uh, auspicious. So the original placement of Pa Men on the Nine Palace is as shown in the, at the bottom of this chart. The attribute of Pa Men or Eight Door, so there's Kai Men. Kai Men is the metal element, timely at Northwest sector. Kaiman represents leader, father, higher authority, judge, job, career, shop front, factory, and company. Favorable for business, marriage, promotion, examination, healing, or seeking medical treatment. Human is a water element uh, at North Kaiman Palace that represents family, recuperate, uh, relaxed living, public servant, administrative staff. Auspicious to use human to meet leader and no nobleman, wealth seeking, marriage, or amusement. Uh, Sun Man is an earth element, timely at Gang 8 Palace. Sun Man represents business transaction, profit, new resident, wealth, wealth luck, very auspicious when asking for wealth, auspicious for property, agriculture, industrial, breeding industrial, and matchmaking industrial. Sang Man, wood element, timely at Gang 3 Palace. Sang Man represents transportation, sport, indirect wealth, gambling, and demand for wealth. Unfavorable to engage in business, assume post, or build repair or marriage. Duman or wood element, timely at Sun Four Palace, represent conceal, hidden, secret, hard to get through, troop, industrial injury, tax affair, and police. It's favorable for refugee. Uh, Jingmen, fire element, timely at South, Le South Nine Palace. Jingmen represent blood related calamity, gorgeous place like nightclub, dispute, examination paper, document, tactics. Management plan, certificate, and receipts. Siman, of element, timely at Kuntu Palace. Siman represents death man, tomb, land, calamity, and bad luck. Jingmen, metal element, timely at West Palace. Jingmen represents dispute, scandal, lawsuit, lawyer, panic, favorable to use for lawsuit or cash robbers. Ima or traveling horse. Ima Sa's our name implied is like a horse, they are movement or running away. Therefore, in Chiman Tunja, uh, Yima might indicate changes related to work, marriage, or business. The palace of Yima being determined as follow. If it's a Sun Zi Chen hour, Yima is at Gen 8 Palace. Uh, Ying Wu Shi is at Kun Tu Palace. Si Yu Chou is at Qian 6 Palace. Hai Ma Wei is at Sun 4 Palace. Kong and Sun So. Kong means emptiness. In Chiwen Tun Jia, when the palace is in Kong, means the cap capability of the Sun Men and Sing is only 20%. So 
That means if it is auspicious, it only have twenty percent of auspiciousness. If it is auspicious, it only have twenty percent of inauspiciousness. However, when the time arrives at a particular palace where there is Kong, the capability will be regained. The method to determine Kong is the same as the sixty jia zi Kong Wang data and Tibetan chart. As the name implies, Qimen Tun Jia. Tun Jia means Jia is hidden. So it's any Qimen Tun Jia chart, Jia is hidden. And the the one that hide the Jia is called a Sun Shou, a leader. So this information is needed when you want to plot Qimen Tun Jia chart. So this is how the chart looks like. 60 Jia Zi, Kong Wang and Sun Shou. So for 60 Jia Zi hour, the Kong Wang is where? Uh, that Sun Shou is where? This is, this is the chart. In Qimen Tun Jia, there is uh, a 1080 chart. Uh, some of them are Fu Ying, some of them are Fan Ying. So what is Fu Ying and Fan Ying? So the left side is Fu Ying, the right side is Fan Ying. So when you get a Fu Ying chart, uh, all matters asked will be on standstill. There shouldn't be any action taken. In additional, it also denotes touch and suffering. So how does Fu Ying chart look like? You see the, the heavily stamps are the same. Uh, the, the Tian Pan Henry Sam and the Di Pan Henry Sam like Ding and Ding is the same, Bing and Bing. In the Kanwan Palace, that's Bing and Bing. So a Fan Ying chart, when you see a Fan Ying chart, there's a, there will be changes. Uh, there will be a lot of uncertainty. Basically, there are flip flop. There will be changes. So there are 50 50 changes uh, that thing uh, happening. So on your right hand side is actually a Fan Ying chart. A Fan Ying chart is that you will not. Uh, Notice that the opposite are uh, flip. Uh, the opposite, uh, the opposite palace, the heavenly stems, uh, ten pan heavenly stems and deep pan heavenly stems are flip. Like for example, at the Li Nai Palace and Kawan Palace, uh, Li Nai Palace is Geng on top, Ji is bottom. Where Kawan Palace, Ji at the top, Geng at the bottom. Qimen Tun Jia season. Uh, to plot a Qimen Tun Jia chart, you need to find out the season. So the whole year are divided into two seasons, which is called Yang Tun and Ying Tun. So depending on the techniques, the Yang Tun start from winter sortice, uh, Dong Zi, and up to the summer sortice, and Ying Tun start from the summer sortice to the winter sortice, or Dong Zi. So a total of nine types of nine type each, and they are called the Ji. So they are Yang Tun has nine Ji, and Ying Tun has nine Ji as well. So each chi is further categorized by the jia zi hour. So there are 60 jia zi hour. So each chi has 60 chart. So yang tun will have 9 times 60, which is 540 charts. And ying tun will have another 540 chart. So in total, there are 1080 qi men tun jia chart. So what qi men tun jia can be used for? Qi men tun jia can be used for divination, application, destiny analysis, change name, feng shui prescription, religious matter and personal well-being so what is Qimen Tun Jia divination so for those uh, who learned before this is the basic fundamental of Qimen Tun Jia so you can use Qimen Tun Jia to divination to forecast relationship matters whether that's a uh, divorce the party affair scandal legal entanglement uh, wealth and investment the status of a current wealth your joint venture your investment in the business Interview an academic, whether the interview exam will be successful. Accuracy information, whether the person is lying or, or give you fake information. Uh, Qimen Tun Jia Divination can be used to perform Feng Shui audit uh, and destiny analysis using divination. Uh, mundane stuff like finding lost item, weather forecast, and so kind of thing. Even my, one of my students actually used it to find his wife uh, in, where, in the shopping mall. So he brought a chart and see where, where his wife is and then go there and look for his wife. Actually, found his wife based on Qimen Tun Jia chart. So, Qimen Tun Jia application, this is where the real deal of Qimen Tun Jia come from. Uh, basically, choosing a good date or time and proper action to make things happen to match with the heaven, earth, and man. Basically, Tian Si Di Li Ren He. So, what can do for you? There are two parts to this. So, based on the date and time used uh, for a certain endeavor, find out what will hap happen. So, so, a lot of case. Uh, so, so people move into the house and then uh, bad things have to happen. So we want to find out why it happened. So we can use the date and time the person move in and put the achievement to the chart and we will know that what, uh, the reason why it's happening. And then you can actually choose a good date and time based on achievement to, to for this important event that you want to do. 
So not many Chibon Tun Jamasa are teaching this because this is uh, regarded as a guarded secret and not uh, easily be revealed. Uh, some of the examples of the applications are like marriage, uh, re house renovation, burial, move into a new house, opening ceremony for business, interview exam, assembly of bed, sick wealth, gambling, uh, direction to hide or escape. Chibon Tun Jia Destiny Analysis. Chibon Tun Jia can be used for destiny analysis. It's like a Ziping Ba Zi or Zibei Dou Su. You can use your birth date and time. I brought the Chibon Tun Jia chart. And you pretty much see the most, most, a lot of things and sometimes more as in Ziping Ba Zi. So your Chibon Tun Jia chart is like your compass. It can tell you how good is your wealth, both direct and indirect wealth, how good is your relationship, whether your relationship with your spouse, kids, parents, sibling, boss, who are the person that Potential sub support touch you, your children, uh, who are your noble people, and etc. Major events that are happening to your spouse, kids, parents, sibling, based on your chimen chart. You can use it to choose a house that suits your ba zi and use chimen feng shui to further enhance it. Your health status and where where are your weak organ? When will your sickness manifest? Your career, the type of career that best suits you. Relationship with your boss and your environment. The location of your office that suits your budget. Uh, business acumen, whether you are you suitable to do your own business or simply uh, stay employed or work for people. The color scheme that suits you based on your Chi Tun Jia budget. Sequence of events that are happening and are going to happen to your life. And of course, the time of death. Chi Tun Jia change name. So, based on the Chi Tun Jia destiny chart, you can use uh, Chi Tun Jia to change your name that complement your destiny chart and therefore enhance your life. Chimen Tun Jia Feng Shui. Chimen Tun Jia Divination to find out, you use Chimen Tun Jia Divination to find out the Feng Shui condition of the house and then use Chimen Tun Jia Feng Shui to description to mitigate the problem. Uh, you can use Chimen Tun Jia Destiny Chart as a basis and use Chimen Tun Jia Feng Shui prescription to mitigate it. So, Ba Zi is the diagnostic, Feng Shui is the prescription. And of course, for some serious case, we use uh, Chimen Tun Jia life changing method to, to do this. Zhong Shen Ji, we call it. Chimen Tun Jia religious matter. The Chimen Tun Jia has their own talisman as well. Uh, they call it the Fa Chimen. So it can be used as a remedy. So good date and time is selected to bless the talisman to ensure effectiveness. And Chimen Tun Jia date selection can be used to choose a good date and time to perform religious matter. Thank you for your time. Uh, for more information, please visit my website at www.fengshui-hacks.com or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Feng Shui-Hacks uh, YouTube channel, or you can visit my blog, which is Feng Shui-Hacks.blogspot.sg. Uh, most of the things that I pu publish or article that I publish, you can visit my blog to read up. Uh, there are tons of information down there for, for you to read up. My website has information about courses that you can attend. Uh, and you can also subscribe to my uh, mailing list, which I will send out periodically the articles as well as the announcement of courses. Thank you and hope to see you in my classes. Thank you. Bye.